All right, guys. It is a blissfully cool, rainy day, finally, here in this muggy summer. It is Friday, July 7th, 2023. And uh, I've mentioned this a couple of times. I want to thank my buddy Roy for sending me a couple of YouTubes about this subject, about where in the hell have all the lightning bugs gone? Or the fireflies, the famous bugs in a jar. So uh, this is... This is the fourth summer that I have I have been here uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm up in the Finger Lakes of New York. And so 2020, 2021, 2022. So for all three of those summers, this week, the 4th of July is when the lightning bugs peaked and I'm telling you it was a you know it was a fireworks show here there were thousands of lightning bugs uh, j just last year as I say for I don't know what it looked like before 2020 here uh, may maybe there were a million lightning bugs but uh, for for three years running Year after year after year, uh, just this unbelievable lightning bug show here, peaking this week, and I am guessing a 95% uh, collapse in the lightning bug uh, situation. So, you know, this is one of these... This is why you're seeing fewer lightning bugs than before. And the main threats, development in habitat, broad range pesticides, and light pollution. So I don't think it is my solar lights that, that are running off the lightning bugs out of here because uh, <laughs> I can't imagine it's my solar lights. Uh, as far as I know, none of my neighbors, I am not, uh, I, I am not putting any pest, no, we have sprayed no pesticides here at Bugs in a Jar, ever, but no pesticides here. Uh, as far as I know, none of my neighbors, you know, there's not any, like, active farming going on, uh, anywhere near here development and habitat well maybe uh-oh have my uh have building these two tiny houses uh th these fireflies were doing just fine with this tiny house here uh n none of these none of these make any sense i like how they uh i i like how they suggested Building fireflies uh, wetland habitats, you know, water features that uh, fireflies are really attracted to, to moist, muggy places. Good Lord, uh, the wetland uh, that I have created here. The mosquitoes seem to be doing just fine. Uh, no problem with the mosquito population, with the gnat population. Uh, the June bug population was probably bigger than ever, and the firefly or lightning bugs, whatever you want to call these little guys, these little bugs in a jar, have completely crashed. The only thing I'm trying to chalk it up to, and I hope I am right on the, uh, 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 hope that I'm right on this on, I think it was May 22nd that we had that major hard freeze here uh, at Bugs in a Jar and all around here we had this, it went down to like 24 degrees that night and a couple of frosts either side of it. Even though that was early for the lightning bugs, I'm thinking 
that maybe they were just beginning to emerge out of the ground on, uh, on May 26, and they just got blindsided by that late frost. Or maybe it's just because it's been such a cold, wet, soggy uh, spring. You know, this has been the coldest uh, late spring and early summer uh, that, that I have ever endured in my life. So I don't know if it's this unnaturally cold weather we're having in 2023. I guess I will find out next year when uh, we will see. But if uh, anybody around here, uh, I, I, I just want to hear, ha have other people, Roy, he lives down in Pennsylvania. He said the last summer that he remembers the lightning bugs was 2019. That it was a good summer in 2019, and then they just completely crashed. And he's hardly seen a lightning bug in uh, northeast Pennsylvania uh, since 2019. But they've been fine here, so... They left there and never came back, and I'm just going to be sick to think that bugs in a jar uh, farm uh, has lost its, uh, its bugs in a jar. But uh, what a mess. You know, it's just getting more and more depressing. You know, I did this Chinese family was just here. You know, I told them they reserved this place back in May, and I, you know, was telling him, okay, guys, you're going to hit here at the height of the lightning bug season, and you're going to, your kids can fill their jars with lightning bugs. They wanted to know exactly where were my promised lightning bugs, and uh, the five-year-old was asking me yesterday, and uh, I said, I don't know where the lightning bugs are. There, you know, he was ready to catch some damn lightning bugs. And, and, and I said, dude, I, I said, I am sorry. I said, I don't know where they are. And he said, did they die? Well, that was the five-year-old's question to me. Did they die? And I said they were they they were never born. They, they never came out of the ground this year, kid. They they were never alive to die. Uh, he seemed okay with that answer. Anyway, get out there and enjoy your bugs in a jar while you still can, because uh, it's just one more sign of the collapse of everything. Hopefully I will come back with some hopium update next summer. My gosh.